Welcome back. So this is the last video on collections and we need to touch on a few other concepts like the collection if, the collection for spreads and also how to copy collections. So let's say that we have the following list declared where we've got a list of admin people and these are the usernames let's say for the admin people that's got access to the admin part of the system. So uh, let's say that you log into the system and this could be uh, one of the users. This could be a user and this is a, a map with key and value pairs and we have for every user that logs in a username which is the email and a row or, or maybe just a, a value to indicate whether this person should have admin rights or not. Okay, so this is the user. We will say, well, these, the admin is false there. And let's say that when we declare this list of admin people we want to also look at the user that's currently there and see if we should not add that user to the list as well okay so now you will remember that we said that in any list in dot if i add a comma at the end and i reformat it it will actually put everything underneath each other if there's commas especially also the comma right at the end and this also is very helpful with uh, widgets later on when we get to flutter so just remember this sometimes it's a bit easier to read so what we can actually do to include this user if the admin value is in fact true to this specific list while we are declaring it so that we call the collection if so if i go in here and i say if this user now at the top and we go to the specific key so if the admin value is true so I'm just going to use this as a boolean so if it's true let's make that one true if it's true that value that's returned as a boolean will then be true and if it's true we want to do something so I'm just going to leave out the um, brackets there and just add the value now that I want to add so I want to add then to this list user and the key that I want is username and put your comma there. So now if we run this and I print out admin and run this, let's look at the admin emails now. Right, so these are the admin emails. I've got Peter, so it's this one. I've got Paul, I've got Lee. And then this one will be added only if that value is true. And you can see it has been added there. But if I change this value now to a false and run it again, it will not be part of that list. Okay, so this is the collection if where you can add an if statement inside of collections and add values on the fly. Which means that in declaring this specific variable, we can already add that right from the start. Right, let's look at collection 4. So let's say that we have another list of admin users. So this is just examples. Let's say um, admin other. Some other people we also want to add as admin people that comes from somewhere else. And let's say I'm going to use rambo at gmail.com. And we'll have something like sam at gmail.com. So let's say we want to add all of these admins also to this list then I can actually run a collection for inside of this list so I'm gonna say for let's use var other so we already have admin declared so I'm not going to declare admin again so I'm gonna say var other in admin other what do I want to do I want to add other so in this case other is every element inside of admin other so it will be this rambo and it will be sam uh, that's the values that will be saved in there for the for loop and if i use it there it's actually going to add it into my admin list there so if i run this again you will see that it added these two email address also rambo and sam so inside of your declaration of a collection you can have an if statement and also for loops in order to add some more elements to it. Now let's look at the next one, which is spreads. So for example, let's have another one there and let's say some more admin. And we have a jake at gmail.com and we have a Angela at gmail.com. And let's say we want to add those admins also. 
So another very easy way to add them instead of using this for loop is to just go and add three dots and then some more admin and put your comma at the end. Now if I run this, you will see that Jake and Angela will also be part of the list of admins. All right, so quite easy to add another list inside of this list. And what I could have also done is to just take the list as it is there and use it there. I can do it like this and it will also do exactly the same thing. So you don't need to have a variable there. You can actually have a, a literal there as well. Right, now the last thing we want to have a look at is copying collection. So I'll do this at the bottom. Just add some more space there. Right, so let's say we've got this collection and let's call it collection one. And this collection is just a list of numbers. So let's say 10, 20, 30, and 40. Now let's say I want to copy this collection. So I'm going to copy it to collection two and say, well, that collection should be the same as collection one. So I'm making a copy of it. Collection two equals collection one. So let's just quickly change a value of collection two. So I'm going to say, let's change collection two's value at position zero. And let's make it a one. So it will be replacing the 10 for collection two and replace it with a one. Okay, let's print out both. So I'm going to print out collection one and I'm going to print out collection two. Now let's, let's look at it. So now you can see that actually we have changed both of these collections. So which means that collection one, that was 10, 20, 30, and 40, where we thought that we copied it here, we were actually just taking collection two and pointing to the exact same thing. And that's what happens in memory. In memory, you will have this object created and collection one will point to this object in memory. Now, when we say collection two equals collection one, we're actually just copying the pointer. And that pointer still points to the exact same thing. So when we said that collection two at position zero should be a one, we are actually referring to the exact same object. And that's why it changed for both, because both of them are actually referring to the exact same list in memory. Right, so basically what we're saying is that you cannot copy a collection by doing it like this. So how can we copy a collection? So very easy in order to copy a collection is to actually just create your collection like it is there using the spread and saying collection one. So basically taking an empty list and adding this collection to it. So now if we run it, you will see that the first one still stays the same, but the second one has been changed. So this is a very fast and easy way to copy a collection. Now, another way to copy a collection that would be a, a bit longer will be to use a for loop. And we can say variable, uh, let's say value in collection one. So we're going to run through every value there. And we're going to say collection to dot add the value. So it's an empty list and I'm adding that value that we're iterating through on collection one to this one. And if we run this, you will get the exact same output. So you can still see there's the original one and there's the second one that we changed to a one. So this is the bit longer route, but uh, the most effective, easiest route is just to go and say, let's use the spread there and that will work 100%. If you run it again, we will see the same output. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next video.